right if loving you was wrong fans uh this video here is a special one because of the fact that last tuesday after the series finale i got the opportunity to hop aboard an instagram live with kelly herself and i'm actually going to play the footage here in the video and um I honestly don't even have much of an introduction. I was speechless that it happened, but let me just say, first of all, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on the new content. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And without further ado, uh, I'll just let you see the footage. I'll come back, kind of talk about my reaction to it, and uh, go from there. Again, no, he's not available. Okay, let's see. Harmony. Oh, H A H N. I haven't had enough. Okay. Wow, I'm actually here. This is great. Hey. Look at that. I want that. Really? Look at you. Custom made. Custom made. What? Yes. Where'd you get that? A gift from a dedicated fan. Wow. Yes. Well. How are you? Look, I, I love, you're like what we call a super fan. Thank you. Thank you. You're a super fan. You, you found the whole, you have the whole hashtag, the whole, <laughs> your whole profile is H-A-H-N. If loving you is wrong, look at you. Now, what's your real name? Uh, Jeremy Carden. Jeremy. Yes. It's nice to meet you, Jeremy. Now, how did you become a super fan? Starting with the haves and the have nots, and then it kind of gravitated to it. Loving you is wrong. Basically, I started with the blog, then the YouTube channel, and fans kept asking me, Look, I love your breakdowns for the haves and the have nots. Why not talk about if loving you is wrong, Green Leap, and all these other shows? So then the one show became an addiction, and I've been thinking about these shows ever since, breaking them down, talking about them with fans, going what? nuts because this finale. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but I will say this. It has, been a, it has been a journey talking with everyone, but I'm just like, that's why I started the hashtag. If loving you is wrong, season six, like it, it, it needs oh. to happen. It needs to happen. It needs to happen. I mean, Kel, there are so many things that need to be resolved. Like, okay, what, what's the dynamic between Justice, Terrell, Kelly under the same roof? What's the dynamic of the community? I mean, the ch uh, the church was like running that town. So what's going to happen when the public learns that Travis was doing dirty, the church was uh, providing cover-ups? It's the fact that the entire dynamic of the series could have been flipped on its head, even with uh, Eddie dead, Randall dead. The show should still go on. I feel like as a fan, it was a great episode. But it wasn't a good series finale. I'm just like, there's so much more we right. could be doing in the next season. Trust you me, know, I can go that's on. the and I feel like just listening to you, I can tell you're you're a real television person. And you sound like a writer, to be honest with you. I'm like, I feel like you could pick it up right now and start writing the rest of the episodes. I, I give that a lot. I actually have some notes right here with some ideas. Right. I'm like, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. You you have a gift. You Thank have you. a gift for writing. I can see that. And you definitely, I mean, you obviously do criticism and all that and just really break things down, which honestly, like you being able to dissect episodes is a wonderful, wonderful skill as far as if you were to come into the television industry, you know, professionally. Yes. I think you would do really well, to be honest I, with you. I appreciate it. And the thing is, is I always say this on the channel. People are like, do you work for Tyler Perry Studios? You're always like either close to what happens or you know what's going to happen next. No, no, no. It's all about foreshadowing, pay attention to the clues. And I always say this. When I'm on the channel, I do my best not to just criticize, but I add in like maybe it could have been done this way to show more character development or yeah. did this character have to die because they could have added more to the plot? But this episode had me going, the plot points like Marcy's fingerprints on the fire poker, Randall's cameras inside the house and outside, not to mention the fact that, well, Bennett did see a woman in a blue dress walk into the house. And we don't know if Ian's dead. Ian and Steven saw what Marcy was wearing, and they the ones who carried Alex into the house. But 
Right. I feel like um, a lot of people have been asking me for years on the channel and on social media, Andrew, Joey, Pete, where are they at? And I'm like, well, Kelly got out of jail. Like, Were uh, you on the Zoom tonight? For a few minutes, I was. Because okay. I actually, it took me 20 minutes to figure it out. But oh, I did. Man. Yeah, people have been telling me get Zoom so I can do interviews with people. I just yeah, yeah. learned how to do it yet, but I will. Um, but they were all on the Zoom, Pete, all the people that you're talking about. I saw about. them. Yeah, saw they were them. all, we all brought them back. But you know what? One thing about, and I'm just going to let you in on something as far as just the television industry. Okay. One thing about C series finales is that a lot of times you don't even know if it's going to be the series finale. Yeah. If you understand what I'm saying, because you don't know yet. When you're filming, a lot of times you don't know whether that's your last season or whether it's not. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you'll notice with season finales, the door may be open for things if it comes back or if it doesn't come back because you don't always know when you're filming it if it's going to come back or if it's not going to come back. You understand yes. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. there's a lot of shows where it's like, oh my gosh, like what about this and what about that? It's like some things are intentionally left open because you're not sure is it going to come back, right? Or you may, or maybe ambiguous about is a person dead? Are they not dead? to give them room. I'm going to be honest with you, one season ago, we were reading scripts, and it looked like we were all dead before this season. This was maybe hey. two seasons ago. And we were all reading the scripts, and literally all, including myself, because I had hanged myself. I don't know if you remember that season. I hanged myself oh, I in remember. the jail. And then um, Randall and was it Alex, I think? In the shed. Mark, both of them were in the shed, right? And then the shed caught on fire. You know, it was like at the end, and then something happened with, with Eddie, and at the end, we all thought we were dead, and we thought that was the series finale. We thought that the show was over. That was two seasons ago because of the way it ended. It was so, and so we all pretty much, like, had a meeting with Tyler, like, are you, is there something you need to tell us? Is, is the show done? <laughs> he was like, oh, no, that's called a cliffhanger. <laughs> well, you that got us. That's one thing I always give Tyler Perry credit for. Like, even if an episode, even if I don't feel like the episode is like the best, the man knows how to write a cliffhanger. It's like the first 38 minutes, I'm like, they're okay, this scene's dragging on and this character's just talking, but then the last 45 seconds, it's like, wait, what? And I don't know, I don't know who ta uh, breaks, uh, puts the trailers together, but whoever does that is phenomenal. Like, trailer breakdowns are probably my favorite things to do. Because I got to put Can together. Can I just say, Jeremy, right? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Jeremy, please. What do you do for a living? YouTube. Believe okay. it or not. Yeah, I finished up college at Liberty University. I was in the call center for three years. Oh, Liberty. Yeah. That's and Virginia. Uh, Virginia, yes. Yeah. That's where I'm from. And I, I was doing the channel on the side. I didn't know you could get paid for YouTubing. My roommate was like, hey, man. Why don't you try to get monetized? So I did. And I'm like, I can get paid for talking about these shows as a fan. So wow, after that, I left. Awesome. And uh, I think I had like 9,000 subscribers. And now I'm over 120,000 and it's growing. That's so incredible. Yeah, this is the bread and butter. Pretty much talking yeah. about these shows. Well, you definitely have to get on Zoom so that you can um, bring people on. I'll come on your show. Really? Okay. Well, yeah, I will. You interview me. Okay, great. I'm right at <laughs> But what I was going to tell you is I feel like you should definitely be doing something in television. Like I, you have such a gift and skill, you know, and those are the elements. All the elements that you're talking about are the elements that go into creating television, you know? So I feel like I know that you, you've already built obviously a YouTube empire as far as discussing television, but I feel like you can also create television as well. You know, you know, yeah. in a way that will be really engaging and specific and going on a journey. And, you know, I just see that in you. So whatever. In fact, actually, people don't know this, but I'm taking a course right now with UCLA developing television series. Nice. Yeah. What'd you say? Oh, I took a screenwriting class. Uh, Liberty was developing their cinematic arts program. And I took screenwriting when they first had it in development. So I just was learned. Was Booker Madison there? Um, you know no. Some professor named Booker, Booker T. Madison. No, oh, no. Okay. Yeah. We only had one guy 
And I think the um, program has expanded so much now compared oh, to what it was uh, when it first started. But I, I know that I, if there was something I wanted to do ever, it would at some point, because I know that Tyler Perry Studios was supposed to open up for tours this year. But then, of course, oh. COVID happened. So I don't really know what the dates and everything for, are for that. But I just remember the gala last year and how amazing that was. I was like... If there was anything I can do, people are like, oh, have you ever talked with Tyler Perry? I'm like, no, I'm just a fan. But if there was one thing I wanted, it would just to go to the studios to see like the um the uh, the star ball game. I was like, if that isn't because I know Tyler does a lot of great things with the donations and the charities, but I think what he did for you all, like um, October first is when he got the star on the Walk of Fame, and then to give stars to you all. Literally, I, this. I went to the Walk of Fame. I took my baby there just to see his star. Yeah. Maybe two days before that, two days before getting on the plane to go to um to Atlanta. And then we got there in the middle of this huge gala. It was so beautiful. And then they just tapped me and said, you know, do you mind helping to present Oprah's soundstage to her? I'm like, are you kidding me? Absolutely not. Of course, I would, I would be honored to pre help present Oprah's soundstage to Oprah but then we got down you know in front of the Oprah soundstage and then there was this huge unveiling of these stars mm -hmm. with our names on it it was so moving so amazing yeah I mean it was incredible it 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 was incredible definitely took your uh your breath away that's for sure but oh, yeah. I I admire your passion and I admire your your skill and your accuracy and I just yeah, I feel like, you know, the television landscape can always use new voices. So I'm gonna work. hop I'm gonna hop off so I can grab some other people in here. There's a lot of people waiting, but thank you for everything that you do. I love how you're serving the fans. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll learn more about the Zoom game once I get it all, you know, squared away. I will hit you up for an interview. Okay, or something. yeah, you do that. All right, take care. All right, you too. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. Okay. Historic. Yes, that was historic. Oh, now I can see you. You know what? For a long time, I wasn't seeing you guys' comments. Um, someone just asked me what's next. So what's next is I'm doing... All right. So first of all, I was just shocked that it happened. I remember watching the episode. Remember, Tuesday was a long day. It was a good day, but a long day. Remember, Go back to last week. If you if you need proof, go back to the channel, check the dates. 13 videos I had to get done and posted. I tried to get on the Zoom and I did, but it took me like 20 minutes to figure it out. And by the time I got there, if you were on the Zoom, then I think you will remember how it went. I was on there for like five minutes because I, number one, have never been on a Zoom before. So I just got on there and I saw like a hundred people and everyone was talking. <laughs> I think people weren't, I, I guess you could say people weren't muting their mics or something. And like, I, I know that I saw Kelly, I think she was like the moderator. I know I saw Alex on screen, then I saw Randall, then I saw Brad, but it literally felt like, it took me back to like high school or something in the auditorium or gymnasium during like a presentation or a speech by somebody important. And everyone kept talking. You really couldn't hear. So I'm like, okay, first of all, I'm starving. I'm tired. I got to get ready for this episode to come on. So I decided to, you know, leave. And unfortunately, I heard Tyler Perry came on there. I'm like, crap. But then again, I don't think there would have been a way for me to stand out or get attention. I think it was just a matter of being on there and listening. So I bowed out because I'm like, I only got 30 minutes till the episode airs. I wanted to get DoorDash. So I just ate a Hot Pocket instead. Going to the finale. We all know how much of a disappointment it was in terms of, like I said before, it was a good episode. It, I mean, or it wasn't a bad episode, but it was a, well, it wasn't a good series finale. And I go on YouTube. I did a live stream. I think that is my biggest live stream I ever did on the channel because I know we were well over 400 people live watching. And I think that video alone had over 10,000 hits in less than a day. 
And then on top of that, I'm like, let me hop on to Instagram live because I was going to go live with Chandler. And he didn't come on the first time. And then I'm like, well, I saw Kelly had a live stream going on. So I did hop on there for like a couple minutes. I saw she was talking with other fans. And I noticed everybody was kind of saying the same thing about how the finale was like disappointing and, you know, all this stuff wasn't resolved. And I'm like, man, well, that's pretty much what I did for about 30 or 40 minutes on YouTube. So I don't even want to get involved with that. So I went to do my own live stream and there were there were about 20 people on there. But I'm like, eh, I mean, we're only talking about the same thing. And I, I don't know why, but I just got the urge to like, you know what? Let me just go to Kelly's because I honestly don't watch a lot of live streams live to be that to be honest, so I decided to just quit, become like, okay, I'll just wait for Chandler to, um, you know, come aboard, so I quit the first live stream, I went over to Kelly's live stream, and I saw people saying, add me, add me, add me, and I'm like, eh, because I mean, I just decided to send a request, I, remember, I've never done that before, I'm always the one doing the live stream, and then sometimes adding people on, so I just decided to send a request and you know i'm like eh, i'll watch for about 10 15 minutes until you know i'll just wait until channel hits me up say he's ready to do a live and then we'll do one on instagram together so i know that kelly was reading out some names and she read a name that it wasn't mine obviously the h-a-h-n and next thing you know i'm seeing like edwina has uh accepted your request you'll be added in like five seconds i'm like wait wait what and I'm just sitting here like, this is really happening. Keep in mind, I look awful because I had a long day working on videos, barely any sleep, a hot pocket and Kool-Aid jammer in my stomach. But I, I just remember in that moment being excited because of the fact that I did not expect to get at it. I can't believe how calm I was because of the fact that while I was watching this live stream while editing um, this video, I was like, dude, I actually kept it together pretty well because of the fact that you got to look at it from my perspective, guys. I'm a fan like everyone else. I don't I mean, some people still believe I have connections with Tyler Perry Studios. I do not. I do communicate with the cast semi frequently, but I have never been in a well, for a lack of a better ter uh, term face-to-face -face interaction with any of them i've gotten autographs um i talk with them you know through dms from time to time but i have never been on camera with another person like that so for me this was a big moment keep in mind if it was i could think of if it was one of five characters who i have crushes on i don't know if i would have kept my cool but with kelly it just felt natural i'm just like there were so many things I wanted to say, but obviously I couldn't say everything I was feeling. What I wanted to do, I wanted to, like, keep in mind, I was genuine. And while I was talking, remember, I'm, like, trying to make sure I'm not um, performing a filibuster at Congress. You know, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, one of my favorite movies of all time. I love the classic black and white films. And when Mr. Smith, at the end of the movie, is doing that filibuster where basically he has the floor and he can talk for us long as he wants i'm like i don't want to do that so i wanted to make a point to talk about things people really weren't talking about everyone was kind of saying the same thing how the finale man i want uh, more episodes and you know they didn't solve this but it's like i wanted to take a different approach and just say well i'm talking with kelly so let's just talk about how we as an audience are being robbed of not getting kelly in terms of a conclusion for a storyline and like I said in videos before, you know, when I was talking to her, I was like, I mean, when I saw Kelly get out so early, I'm like, oh, wow, this season's going to move at a quick pace and we'll wrap things up. But we didn't. And her face, just seeing her. So I guess you could say attentive to what I was saying. And then I was reading the comments as I was talking like, Jeremy, yeah, whoa, keep it up, preach. And I'm like. I got to keep my cool. So it was very difficult because three things. I was looking at the comments and I was trying not to get too hyped. I was seeing how interested she was in what I was saying. And then I also didn't want to talk too much. So all that combined, I, I have to say that was one of my favorite experiences 
since starting the blog, you know, before I even did the channel, just being able to have that moment, even if I don't even know how long I was on there. I, don't, I mean, obviously, the length of the Instagram post in this video will tell you, but it felt like an hour, even though it was probably like maybe five minutes. I understood that um, she had to get to other people, but that moment between us was amazing and I loved it. And the fact that, to be honest, it's almost been a week since that conversation. I've been kind of shaken to the core in a way, and not in a bad way, but that's kind of why I haven't done a lot of videos because lately I've been thinking, ever since I hit 100K, I just haven't thought about what my next big goal is. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still happy to be doing what I'm doing, but and some, it, I just don't have that next uh, big goal in mind. For the longest time, it was to get 100K subscribers, get the plaque, and, you know, hey, successful. Because to me, that was validation of quitting my job and then doing this full time and then it actually worked out. But um, I mean, to have someone in the business pretty much listen to what I was saying and say, like, you should definitely try to get into TV writing and whatnot. I mean, that that was mind blowing because sometimes and ever since I even started doing YouTube full time, you know, I've been thinking like, you know, am I selling myself short, you know, like. Am I not really growing and doing as much as I could be doing? Like, I have multiple streams of revenue now, thank the Lord. And what, based on what I do for a living, I've been able to ride the, you know, the pandemic of 2020. And um, I'm thankful for that. But other times I'm thinking, like, am I not really using my abilities to their full? Am I not utilizing my full potential, so to speak? And the fact that she's like, get Zoom going and I would love to be on your show. I'm like, okay, that, 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 I mean, aside from like not really doing videos, I've been trying to learn about Zoom this past week. So I'm excited for that. So um, I, I'm just pumped. So imagine if we have an interview, like all the things I would love to ask her. And then on top of that, she dropped the gem about, hey, just so you know, whenever we're filming, we don't know if that is our final season. So like the season, which I believe she was referencing season three, where, you know, Randall and Alex were in the shed and, you know, Kelly uh, tried to take her life in jail. Like we thought that was it. I'm like, dang. So there's no telling what season six would be. So, yes, I still will be doing that video this upcoming Tuesday. But um, I, I just wanted to say that this was awesome and I can't wait to talk to her again. And um time will only tell how many other characters i mean you know uh actors and actresses i'll be able to speak with in the future because i i guess what i'll be doing you know is what other content creators do is you know have the zoom uh conversation and then post it to youtube and with the channel being as big as it is i think that might be more of a drawing factor to have more cast aboard so i guess that's kind of my next step if you will like going from talking about these characters to talking to these characters, which I think would be pretty awesome. And uh, I I think one of my favorite things was, and I tried not to get emotional, was going to Tyler Perry Studios and just seeing that Walk of Fame. Because like I said, ba back in October, I thought that was so amazing because of the fact like Tyler Perry got his star. And I remember some of the cast of some of the various shows. I think Peter Paros, you know, uh, David Harrington from the haves and the have nots. I'm a little rusty. Because I haven't done a have and have not video involving David in a while, but hey, dang, yeah, I have I have not done that. <clears throat> you know, I never thought I'd get a star during my lifetime. I remember reading the caption on his post about how when he saw Tyler got it, he was so excited, but then he was like, Man, maybe it's too late for me to get mine. But then a few days later at the gala, he got his star, and I thought that was so cool. So uh with that being said, you know, I can't wait to get this Zoom thing going. And when it comes, I know people have actually been telling me for the longest time on this channel, man, you need to write your own shows and whatnot. I'm like, yeah, I know. But then I think uh, another thing when Kelly was like, and I still call her Kelly because I know her as Kelly. She was uh, saying, well, wow, the way you're talking, you write season six. And then I put put up my notebook. I'm like, look, I got the notes right here. Because really, the, the, those were notes for the big video I got coming on Tuesday. So I, I would love to. And if even if I'm not an actor on the show, to just kind of be like a consultant to the writing i would love to do something like that but that's all i gotta say for the video i know probably me talking about the conversation was longer than the conversation itself but it definitely planted some seeds so i can't wait to see what comes next but uh with that being said like i mentioned before hopefully this leads to more conversation with cast in the future and uh yeah that's pretty much all i got for you
But thanks to everyone who uh, hit me up after the conversation saying, oh my God, I saw you. That was great. I appreciate that. I really do. So with that being said, make sure you follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up like I mentioned before. If you would like to donate to the channel, which you don't have to, you can hit me up on PayPal or Cash App or join my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And remember, links to all these various platforms I'm on right down in the description below. And I'll talk to you in the next video.